That was a zone three run today. Only 5K, which means anaerobic workout according to my watch. But what I'm really here for is the Trek Marlin 7 2022. Let's roll it. All right guys, run done. Let's talk about the 2022 Trek Marlin 7, where it is not officially released in the United States or Canada right now. I have had someone um, in the comment section below link a page in the UK where they actually already have it posted and everything showing. I do also think this kind of makes sense that they may keep it, although originally I thought they were gonna change a lot about it. It may make a bit more sense to add a little gap between the the models. Um, but let's uh, let's jump right into it and check out what actually has changed. All right, so first up, before we get to what's changed, let's talk about what has not changed, and that is actually the drivetrain. If these are all correct, if this is a real posting, which I believe it is, the color has changed. So it is a new option, but with all the same parts. The big change that hasn't happened is the drivetrain. Although I suspected it would go to SRAM 1x11, it actually looks like it's staying at the Shimano Dior 1x10, matching that of the Merlin 6. But remember, this one does have that RockShox Studio coil spring, still with 100 mm travel, still with the QR, uh, axle it's going to be the same kind of setup just a little bit better so you are keeping it in that kind of entry-level trail category that it was and still having that Marlin 6 around as that simple option for anyone who's kind of dabbling in a bit of this a bit of that but not wanting a lot of gears or complications to it so it still has the same hydraulic brakes it looks like everything else on the bike is the exact same except for one one little feature ignoring color changes, which is the Miami green. We've seen this before in other bikes and it's a nice color. The um, big thing to note here, the biggest change is the wheels. So somehow they may still be keeping the same pricing or very similar to last year, but actually giving you a Covey set of tubeless ready wheels. Interesting choice, definitely for the entry level mountain biker. That's a cool little feature. Tubeless is getting out there. People like tubeless, and it's it's nice to see on these entry-level bikes. That being said, depending where the pricing lands, it might be that much more tempting to jump up to the Marlin 8. You still get the tubeless on that, but you'll go to the air fork and the 12-speed. It might be that much more worth it for most people than sticking with the 7, especially with the 6 having the 1x10 as well now. You have an entry-level, entry-level bike in the Marlin 6. A good all-around bike, but kind of put to shame now with the Marlin 8. So it's going to be interesting. It's just a quick little video I thought I'd bring up about it. Obviously, we'll see more hopefully in the next month. It seems like they're doing a release every month now. And it'll be interesting to see if they keep all these, if this is a real post. Um, yeah, literally spec for spec apart from the rims, Pretty much everything is the exact same, which is interesting to see. Obviously, it's coming with the um, extra, extra small frame too, but that doesn't really change anything. Same as the extra small and small frame. It's an, a nice buildup. Uh, the 11 speed made sense, which is what I predicted, but this kind of makes more sense because it breaks them up a little bit more and still gives you good value and options between each of them. It still gives that big price jump to the Merlin 8, but you're getting two big significant changes, which is going to the Airshock and the 1x12. And the Merlin 7 now will be 1x10 with a spring, but overall still a great value, especially if you're adding that tubeless. Tons of people ask about it. I mean, it's like a thing in the mountain bike world. So if you're starting into mountain bike and getting into it, you start reading all the things. And the number one thing that comes up is tubeless, tubeless, tubeless. So you get interested in it. It does kind of make sense. So why not just put it on these more entry level bikes? People are interested in it and it adds good value to them. Quick little update video. So comment below what you think of this, if this is going to be the same as, or if you've got an order in and you're in the UK, um, Keep me in the loop. I like these kind of update videos. Just a quick one here. All right. Good luck, guys. Thanks.